Good after, wait a minute. Good evening, how your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin am doing? And your hubby too. How y'all living fam? It is, we don't know what day it is. It's a, uh, what's today? Wednesday up in this biatch. It's evening, okay? And haven't had a chance to vlog until up until now, really. And your girl and your boy are both here at home. Juice just got back from the J-O-B-B. And we're just hanging out. And yeah, so I've been shooting all day, as you can probably tell by the face. And I'm over here with Juicy J. What's up, y'all? Oh, my head, my big ass head's in the way. Yeah, we still have to all, we still have to unpack. I don't know. They're, I don't know, our dogs are, I just actually, um, Brought them in from, yeah, they've been out there for a minute, yeah. Um, you know, the dogs were outside. No, okay, I got it, I know what it is. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we just brought the dogs in from outside and they're squealing. They always squeal when they play with each other, but yeah, this time it's a little louder than usual. Anyway, yeah. So, anyway, um, been, I'm actually editing as we speak been shooting all day and stuff. Real Housewives of Atlanta video, by the time you guys see this video, will definitely be up by the time you guys see this. I know um, I didn't get a chance to do the last week's episode because I was heading out of town, so there was just no time to get it shot and edited at the same time, so, um, but I did the latest one with Kenya's, Kenya's ass and Apollo, so be on the lookout for that. I'll let you guys know when it's live, but that's what I'm about to edit. It's importing right now, and uh, yeah, y'all, let me tell you a little something. You tell me if this is fucked up, okay? So we have a little area where we put our, scent, you know, put our dogs outside, um, just for them, for them to play and, you know, close the window, Nick. Oh, we gotta close the window for the reason. For the for reason, okay? So anyway, that's a focus. All right. Disregard the lighting. The lighting is making me look hella washed out, and the makeup looking fucked up because, you know. Anyway, so. Um, just brought the dogs in from outside. Reason being, I open, you know, we let the dogs play outside and do their thing. We have a little leash that they play on. And, you know, they can play around, run around on the grass and just chill and, you know, play with each other and, you know, that kind of thing. And so, um, the door, my door, you know, was, um, ajar so that I could take a look and see how they're doing. And I just heard something. I just heard something like, you know, a kid or something. No big deal. The kids actually come over and play with our dogs all the time. They actually ring our doorbell and ask if we can bring Gizmo and Desi out to play. You guys never really see that because, of course, I don't really want to show the kids' faces on YouTube, obviously. But, um, well, because they're, you know, we know their parents. You know what I'm saying? But they come over all the time to play with the dogs. And, you know, sometimes they say, hey, can we walk them for you? And, you know, it's cool. No big deal. No problem. We know their parents. We know the kids. The older ones, not not the little ones. Well, anyway, y'all remember that story a long time ago that I told y'all when we we first got the dogs and I was walking the dogs and several kids came over from the neighborhood. Of course, we, we know them, but this one in particular, this little boy, picked up my dog and threw him on the ground. I don't know if y'all remember that, but do y'all remember? Like, I freaked out and I was like, the fuck? And I didn't get upset. I didn't get mad at the kid, but I was like, don't touch my dogs. Like, because he's really rough and he's really rambunctious. This is the, 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 the kid I'm talking about. Anyway. So I heard something, and I don't know what made me go to the door to go look to see what's going on. And I see the kid, that kid, that little boy, out in our yard. No other, you know, no other people around, no other kids, no parents, no adults. Just that kid in my yard playing with my dogs. Now the other kids come over and they hang out, but this little kid right here, I don't trust with my dogs for shit. Open that, I opened the door up so motherfucking quick, and took my dogs the fuck inside. Because every time, and I promise you, he's interacted with my dogs three separate times where I've been there. He's also interacted with him when Juice has been there. But me, specifically, every time he fucks with my dog, that little nigga will throw, pick up my dog. The first time he picked up my dog and threw one of them on the ground. Now, he's really short, so it wasn't that far to go. But when they're, you know, Pomeranians, you don't... You can't just drop them on concrete, because he dropped them on concrete. You can't drop them on concrete. Their oh, logs, right. their legs will lock out. No, it was concrete. I was walking them on the sidewalk. Oh, okay. Drop it. Desi screamed. I don't know if y'all remember that story that I told y'all a while ago. Screamed off the top of his lungs. Would not stop screaming because it hurt. Like he dropped, like not, like he th threw him to the ground. Now keep in mind, he was all like, "Oochie boo, oochie boo boo." The kid, oochie boo boo. Bam! Like you, you know. And there were other people around. There were adults around and everything, but they weren't watching his ass. It wasn't his parents. You know, he was playing with some other kids in the neighborhood, and their parents were there. You know what I'm saying? 
So I, of course, had to keep my composure and not go off on this motherfucking child because of the fact that they done threw my ch my child my child down. I don't have no kids yet, but I was looking at my look at, looking at this motherfucker like what the fuck. So no big deal. I'm like okay, isolated incident. The next time we were playing outside with the dogs, and he and some other children came over. Like I said, they love our dogs. Came over, and he comes over to the dog, and he again attempts to pick up the other dog because he had dropped Desi, but this time he picks up Gizmo, and he's just playing with him really rough. And I was like, oh no, no, put my dog down. Like, we're not doing this again because I almost had a heart attack. Put, them, put him down right now. You know what I'm saying? And he was trying to play with him really rough, and you know, after finally he finally put him down. Now he's out there alone, solo dolo, with my, my with my 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 dogs. No, 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 no. I, I opened the door, and he I don't know what he was doing, but he just looked like he was up to absolutely no good. He was kicking the leash and trying to knock the. Uh, there's like a little yes. Yeah. There was a little um. There's a little pin, a uh, little like spoke or something that you put into the grass, into the ground that keeps the leash you know, secure, so they can't go running off everywhere, and he's trying to kick the, 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 the thing that goes into the ground, and he's fucking with the leash and shit, and the stuff that's out there, I'm like, nigga, get the fuck out my yard, one, two, don't, don't fuck with my, my leash shit, you know what I'm saying, like, keep in mind, we were watching the dogs, I just happened to walk, walk away and come back, and then this little nigga's outside of my yard, the fuck, really? I opened the door and he was like, hey, like he, cause he got, it was almost like he got caught when I opened the door. Like, hi. I was like, hey, picked up my dogs and brought them inside. I don't play. You ain't gonna fuck with my, dog, my dogs like that again. You, Juice, do you remember when I came home and told you that story? Yeah. <laughs> like everyone freaked out when he dropped the dog. Because it wasn't just me that was there. It was some other adults, but they weren't watching him and neither was I. Cause, you know, shit. No one would think. Anyway. Needless to say, my black ass went the fuck out there. He was like, he was like, hey. Like, no, no, nigga. Get away from my dogs. I picked my dogs up with the quickness, detached them from their leash, and brought them inside. Do not play with my dog. I don't, I don't even, boy. When I have kid, I'm going to be so protective when we have a kid. Ridiculously protective. I already know. Yeah, I'm going to be ready to box motherfuckers if they fuck with my kid. Like kids I'm play. like that with my dogs. Hmm? You got to let like kids play. Not like that. They ain't going to do it at the expense of my, my dogs. My children. We don't have children yet, so these are our kids. You know, just like people really do. I mean, the people love their dogs, and I do as well. You ain't gonna have my no. I, I said I walked in. I said, "Juice, that little kid was playing. The little boy was playing with my dog." He was like, oh. "I'm like, yeah." I'm oh, glad you. Well, <laughs> then yesterday, one of the kids, uh, a couple of the kids came over. The sweethearts and a half. They're older, you know, girls. And they're really gentle with my two dogs. Yeah, the girls are good. With the oh my dogs. god, they're so good with the dogs. And they're so sweet. And they, the other kid is just—he's just a boy. You know, he's rough. He doesn't give a motherfuck. He does the same they, thing Kate does. Let's pick him up by his neck. Or... This—he's rude. No, he's uh, Pookie Poo is 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 a boy and he's rough, but not like this kid. I I he threw Desi down like he was a stuffed fucking animal juice. And then he dropped him on his feet on pavement. That's... It did? Yes. It do look like such animals, though. It do look like them. So I don't see why he was confused. I, I knew. You ain't trying to come to the defense of this little motherfucker. Now I was say, I, I can see why he would confuse, you know, the dogs for a stuffed animal. No. Anyway, they so... They stuffed. Let that shit happen to, to Gizmo. Because it happened to Desi. Let it happen to Gizmo. He'd be pissed. So... <laughs> Two little girls came over yesterday. They came over, and they're like, "Oh, can we play with the dogs?" And they always play with the dogs, and they're very gentle with them, and they keep them on their leash. And I've been with them, and they, I know their parents. And da -da -da. So anyway, they came over, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah." So they walk the dogs. They're really sweet. They're sweet. They're really sweethearts. Big sweethearts. So they come over to walk the dogs. Da -da -da. But then by the time they come back, they with that little boy. I was like, "Oh yeah, come on, bring the bring the kiddos inside. Bring 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 bring, bring the boys. I don't trust that little boy." For he's shit. He's everywhere. That's one of them boys that, you know, you come to find out he done killed an animal. Like, I it just, I don't trust it. He's rough, y'all. Like, rough. Super rough. Okay? Like, I don't know what the fuck, rough. So, yeah. I, I ain't taking chances like that. He's just younger, but they let him, like, he's outside. He's got Kool-Aid all over his damn face. Like, you know how you just have this vision of, maybe I'm just...
I'm just protective of my dog. Do thing, Not with my dogs. He can do that with some mother motherfucker's dog. He can do that with a big ass dog. Not my little puppies. Got, they're they're puppies. Not this nigga. You know, be fucking mm. man. <laughs> no. No. Okay. So anyway, story of the day. <laughs> There's something on the damn camera. Hold up. <sighs> my dog will be out there committing crimes. He's out there barking the There we go. Huh? My dog don't be out there committing crimes. He used to be out there barking at people. Nah, he be all. trying to violate motherfuckers, Juice. Yep. He be trying to violate niggas. <laughs> Y'all, we walked into it. We, walked, we bumped into my cousin yesterday. This is totally off topic. We bumped into my cousin yesterday. And we, like, we were at like a random parking lot, you know, and uh, pulled up and we saw... He was like, is that your cousin? I said, like, yeah. So we pull up. We're like, do, do, do. And but he rolled just one rolled out his window on the passenger side because that's where that's where he was, that's where Fafan was. Rolled out his window and why did both him and I both go break yourself, fool, at the same time? Did not have that planned. It was fucking hilarious. But both of us, he rolled out his window and we said, "Break yourself, fool." <laughs> Funny as hell. That's when you know, like we're like little Siamese twins up in this motherfucker. When you've been with your mate forever, because we both said the same thing, and that's something I would say. But I think it's hilarious that he said it too. Like we both were like, "Break yourself, fool." Hilarious. What's up, y'all? All right, so Juice actually had to go run a quick errand um, down the street. He went to um, grab something. And um, anyway, <laughs> I am making some food for Juice. We have not gone to the grocery store since we've gotten back from Dallas. That will probably be on the agenda for this weekend. But, and I know Juice still has to tell you what's going on. However, I'm crossing my fingers that what Juice told me is going to work out because just a few minutes ago we were just kind of talking about the fact that we just need to get revved up and started again and just kind of get going with getting back in the gym consistently and all that stuff. You guys know that's been something we've been talking about since before we left for Dallas. That being said, I don't know if I told you all, but I got my P90X. I got it back from my girlfriend. So that being said, um, I am trying to convince him to start with me doing P90X. Um, tomorrow because he was just saying literally like oh I need to get back into that gym and work out like it's time and he really does need to get back in the gym and you know he'll explain a little further as to why he needs to but I know moi I do too so um, any hoodle I'm trying to see if he'll start P90X with me tomorrow. I know he has to go get some things done after work, and he doesn't like starting working out really late. He's also trying to come up with every excuse under the sun to push it off. He's like, I don't know if I'm in shape for it. I'm like, you don't start off in shape. You start off small and slow, and then you move on from there. So I'm hoping that he says he'll do it with me, because I don't know if I told you this. Jessica's not in um, town. She went right to Kansas directly after our flight to Dallas, came back for 24 hours, and then left to go to, da uh, to Kansas because of her kids' spring break. So she went to hang out with family and friends out there and so she's gone until next Tuesday or Thursday of next week that being said I can't go without working out and I really want to get started with a more regimented program something that I can do in between going to the track and going to the gym that we can just do here if we don't feel like leaving the house um, and also you know just to kind of get started doing something fun and something together like we started out last year so anyway I'm hoping that he's not pulling my leg and that he doesn't bullshit me, but I know he might. Tomorrow may be rough for me to get him to kind of get started, but what is cool is that if we don't do it tomorrow, I may be able to convince him to start on Saturday since Saturday we're not working out with Jessica, so that would be a good thing. So it's either going to start tomorrow, which is Thursday, or it's going to start Saturday because Friday usually we don't do anything like that. Um, and I might start it myself, you know, and then he just kind of joins in. Tomorrow I actually have to... Um, I have a photo shoot tomorrow, which I totally forgot about until just uh, earlier this afternoon. But I have a photo shoot, a promo shoot for the TV show that I'm doing. So I have to do that tomorrow. And then I've got to shoot directly afterwards for the TV station or whatever. So it's just a little package that we're putting together for the, for the show that we're going to show, that we're going to shoot next week. So I, you know, business as usual, back to usual shit with the station. And so that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. So that's what would be perfect for us to get started with P90X tomorrow. So we'll see. Anyway, wish me luck with convincing him. If he... If you don't see it, just comment down below. Tell him that we need to get started doing it. I'm really trying to get him to do it with me. Um, but yeah, I'm making him some din-din. I'm about to make him some of this shit right here. Bam. This is the Caribbean 
Um, I would say Caribbean, by the way. It's something that my mom says all the time. So Caribbean, Caribbean style rice. This is brown rice. And uh, it's this kind that you can nuke. I got it from Whole Foods, 90 seconds. With some chicken and steak strips. And there was something else. And I'm going to nuke some broccoli. Because like I said, we don't have any food. Um, we haven't gotten any food food yet. Um, so yeah. Oh, also... I put a comment on Instagram, I put a question on Instagram, sorry I'm starving so I'm like totally loopy, I apologize, I didn't eat very well today, like I didn't eat enough today so I'm like kind of headache and out of it. Um, Any hoodle, um, I put a question about Herbalife and um, <coughs> let's see, Herbalife, what's it called, Herbalife, um, Shakeology. And body vibe, body vibe, body by vibe or V or whatever. And I keep hearing about these things periodically. I'm not saying that that's what I'm going to do. I'm not really into meal replacements um, unless a supplement to something else because I like to eat and I don't like to be hungry. So I know some of those meal plans don't do, would not do well for me. But I, but I got a lot of y'all's feedback on that. So let me know what you guys think. If any of you guys have done any of those, I heard Herbalife may be recalled, which I'm not fucking with that. Um, I heard body by V. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I don't want something that's going to be all meal replacement drinks because the minute you start getting back to salad foods and things like that is the minute you start to gain back the weight that you lost and that's not what I want to do I want it to be something more along the lines of something to add to I guess you know add to my daily routine that's not as structured as what I was doing with Kit and with Jamie but something more that I can just just do have a shake in the morning you know and then have something to eat some good protein and veggies and I guess I could do that on my own but I'm just one of those people who like to have structure which is why I was looking at those things so when I can do loosey goosey then you don't kind of measure as much and all that kind of stuff does that make sense so let me know what you guys think of any of those down below like I said I'm not trying to just do drinks for meal replacements I'm just not that nigga it doesn't work well for me because I get too hungry too quick but I am curious to see if any of you guys have tried any of those things and I know I believe Gabe and Babe Gabe Gabe if you are watching let me know text me let me know what you think I'll te probably text you before you see this but um, yeah let me know what you think of the Shakeology stuff but yeah I've seen her and the Shakeology stuff um, I don't exactly know what the program consists of though I just know that there's shakes because I always see her with her little jug of a shake um, so anyway let me know um, yeah so anyway let me go ahead and eat I'm starving okay so you know we just gave the dog a little bath or whatever and I'm about to show you what I had to break what I had to break open this evening to get it started check it out Ooh yeah yeah, this is the big and large oversized bottle right here. You know, got that riverboat red, the big bottle, the super size. Of course, I'm gonna eat it with my dinner right here. I'm just not gonna drink it, you know, by itself. You know, we got some good broccoli, some meats up in there. To top it all off, we're gonna have some red wine and just uh, chill. Uh, standing in the background watching some uh, American Greed. Uh, it's a good show, by the way. Uh, we're gonna do that and watch some Law and Order right quick, and uh, I'm gonna try to feed the dogs before I go to bed and shit too. So, yeah, just wanna show show y'all what I was breaking open. You know, let y'all know it's another day, another nickel, and literally it is another nickel. I'll, I'll explain that one of these days, hopefully. I'll let y'all know what's up. All right, let me uh, get over here eat my food before it gets cold. And um, I know some of y'all asked me about this March Madness tournament. Uh, let me see what I can do. I'm going to look at Yahoo tonight and see if I can set something up. But uh, if I do, it'll be a quick announcement. But let me let me see what I can do right quick, okay? Uh, I shall return. What's up, y'all? About to hit this sack, having a little bit of orange juice. I'm trying to rev up my vitamin C because y'all know I just got back from Dallas. So... The plane ride and all that stuff, I always like to kind of like make sure I'm taking in a lot of vitamin C, although orange juice is kind of empty calories, but um, I love orange juice and apple juice. Any hoodle. What in the hell? Um, let me put this in here so it doesn't go bad. Anyway, y'all know I love saying goodnight to y'all if I have the opportunity or if I remember, if I don't run out of room on the camera. Y'all know juice is already in the bed. And uh, I'm praying and hoping that I can get juice to actually... Um, start P90X with me maybe tomorrow um, there's a big table in the basement you guys have seen it before but we'd have to move that completely out of the way probably into the back area so that we can start doing it I know once his weather changes he's not going to want to always stay inside doing P90X he's going to want to go to the gym he's going to want to go to the track but I at least want to have 
the option of doing it on the weekends if we don't feel like going to the gym first thing in the morning or we don't have Jessica like what's going to happen this weekend or whatever. Um, but if not, worse comes to worse, we can maybe do it downstairs on Saturday morning if he doesn't feel like doing it after work tomorrow. That being said, um, yeah, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go. I have hair coming out of my little thing here. I'm going to let y'all go. I hope you guys have had a great week. Actually, by the time you, yeah, great week by the time you guys see this. Um, heading into the weekend. You guys will be, it'll be Friday, I think, by the time you guys see this video right here. Um, yeah, y'all. Oh, yeah. Real Housewives of Atlanta, it is officially up on the other channel which is linked down below if I don't have the direct link to the video or I have it at the end of this video here then it'll definitely for sure be on the channel I just uploaded it tonight so definitely make sure to check it out ah, Kenyan Apollo is all I have to say just check out the video and the recap and you'll see what I'm talking about and you will laugh you definitely will laugh anyway go enjoy that um, I am going to uh, Hit the sack. Actually, I'm going to watch Golden Girls, which is what I'm watching right now. And then I'm going to hit the sack. Juice is already in the bed, so I'm just going to get sleepy out on the couch and then go meet up with him. So I love y'all. Hope you guys had a great week, a uh, great night, day, whenever you guys are watching this. And I'll see y'all manana. Love y'all.